Hey folks, today I want to talk about the engagement tool that we have put into Moodle and that we will need you to be completing this uh, this semester and, and ideally going forward throughout uh, your time here teaching at College Inbound. So this is really important. Um, this is a way for us to really get a sense of what's going on with our students across our courses, making sure that if there are people that are, are not showing up or not engaged, we are following up, making sure they have the support that they need, that if they have issues or concerns, we can reach out to them. So when you go into your Moodle course this semester, uh, and really every semester going forward, you're going to see one of three options. You're going in the top area where it's course syllabus and materials, uh, you're going to either see attendance, you're going to see one of these three attendance tools. You're going to see ses session engagement one, session two, sorry, session one engagement, session two engagement, or semester engagement. So session one is the first eight weeks of the course. Session two is the, sorry, session one is the first eight weeks of the semester. Session two is the last eight weeks of the semester. And semester engagement is when you're teaching a course that has 16 weeks. So what will happen is you will go into the course, you'll select or you'll go into the engagement. Um, you're going to have some information here about the, the engagement statuses. There's going to be a resource here that's really important to take a check to take a look at. And then you're actually going to have a listing of all of the sessions. So there's eight here because this is session eight and they're all dated at the end of each week in session two. So this is where you're going to be doing um, this engagement uh, tracking that we're asking you to do. So let's talk about that a little bit. Up here we have a scale, the scale that we've created, which is fully engaged, engaged, not engaged, unexcused absence. These are not perfect categories. We're wanting you to do as best you can to fit them into what makes sense. Um, right now we have this, this really simple breakdown. If you want information, this resource is where you need to go. If you click on visit the resource, one of the first things that you'll see, um, or one of the things on here, we'll be adding additional resources by the time you uh, see this, is it has the breakdown, right? So we have the course type, right? So if you're working, if you're in World and Workplace Lab, this is what you want to think about in terms of engagement. If you're teaching a synchronous instructional course, that means you guys are meeting once a week, maybe Monday or Thursday or Saturday, this is this is really the, the column you want to explore and kind of think about what each of these mean. And then if you're teaching an asynchronous course, that is a course that doesn't meet live, um, but rather people do their work um, on their own time in a given week. So each of these has a description of what this really should look like. These aren't perfect categories. Inevitably, you're going to find edge cases and be like, well, this isn't quite engaged and it's not quite uh, not engaged. And we're just asking you to really try to do your best to meet the, the letter, or sorry, the, the spirit uh, behind each one. Uh, that is, you know, we are really looking at like fully engaged as they've done everything. Engaged means they've done most of the stuff and, you know, it's clear they're, they're there in the course. Not engaged means, you know, they're not, they're kind of there, but they're not really, they haven't really done you know, if we're looking at a number, you know, a third to a half of what has been asked of them in that first week. And then unexcused absence, they haven't really shown up in any capacity. If a student, if a student provides an excuse, it provides an, an excuse for their absence or a reason for their absence, we're encouraging you to choose engage because if they have told you either in advance saying, Hey, I'm not going to be here. It doesn't really matter what the reason is. In other words, it doesn't, even if it's not valid to you, if the student has reached out to you and said, Hey, I'm not going to be here. We recognize that as being engaged. They're recognizing an obligation and they are responding to that in, in a, in what we think is a responsible way whether or not you see that reason or even if they don't give a reason, like if they ha are, if they message you and say, I'm not going to be in class tomorrow, um, they are recognizing that kind of responsibility to the class, to um, being here at College Inbound. 
that being said, we're going to ask that you give, you provide that it was an excused absence in the notes section, and I'll show you that in a second. Um, so just keep that in mind. And, and also, if you hear from them after the fact and they provide some sense of why they weren't there, I would say, you know, whether it's an excused or unexcused, there may, you know, there might be a little bit of question there, but it's something you would want to note in the notes area. So this is where you go to kind of get some, some insight. Whenever in doubt, just reach out to us. You know, we're happy to, to help figure it out. So about that notes section, once you're at the end of a week right now, we have the due dates on Sunday by 5 p.m. Really, we're looking at like Monday morning is when we need this in. And particularly for asynchronous courses where students are likely to be doing their work, you know, some students are likely to be doing their work into Sunday evening. It's fine to not fill this out Sunday afternoon, but really trying to make sure it's completed by, you know, some early Monday morning so we can go in and kind of see across the institution what's going on with students and where we need to do reach out, we need to do support, uh, make sure students, you know, know what's going on and we understand what's going on with our students. So uh, at the end of the week, you'd come into uh, this area, you'd be like, okay, I want to provide, you know, I want to update the engagement status for this week. If you click on this little play button, it's just going to bring you to this screen. You'll have this information again. And then down here, you will have the, the setup. You'll have each student. You will have the four categories, right? Fully engaged, engaged, not engaged, unexcused. And you just click the radio buttons. And if you need to leave any notes or remarks, that's where you do it. So if this student had an excused absence, I might put in here, you know, excused absence, checked in, you know, checked in after the fact, right? So I can provide a little bit of information just in case there's something um, that's worth passing along. It could be, you know, something significant happened that you would want to make sure that, that we know about. Now say all of your students showed up. All of your students, you know, every, all your students showed up, they were fully engaged. You're like, I don't want to click all of these boxes. You don't, all you have to do is up here, uh, see this, this first row, it says set status for unselected or for all. So maybe all the students showed up, all the students were great. If I just select that feature and then I select the radio button, it will just do it for all of the students. Um, so just know you can do that fairly quickly if everything is going great, um, or you can you know do it for unselected of those are the students who showed up and then go in and just identify the students that um, don't meet the whichever criteria um, that you chose for for all of it this is the tool this is you know I think will get us a lot farther in really keeping uh, getting a sense of how students are doing and making sure everybody is uh, where they need to be or getting the support that they need one other thing you should know about this is that this will be visible to students and so you may have students come back and say hey you know why did I get engaged versus fully fully engaged that's okay. Like what I would say is that's an opportunity for a conversation. Um, and it's also something just as you're going forward into the class to let students know, like, you know, this is how I'm using it. This is why it's using it. It's part of College Unbound. Um, and if you have questions or if you see something that doesn't align with your experience, like let's, let's have a conversation about it so we can make sure we're on the same page. Um, so it also becomes a useful, light feedback, ongoing feedback mechanism to students that isn't set in grading, right? That's just set in, hey, this is what I observed this week, um, and being able to use that as a starting point for a conversation. All right. Hope this is helpful. If you have additional questions, need things clarified, please don't hesitate to, to reach out. Um, we are launching this in spring 2023. Um, so all of our courses will be uh, doing this. Thank you so much for your help. And uh, I look forward to your questions and conversations.